Hey everyone, I'm going to do a uh, how to set up your AppMaker app in only a few minutes. minutes. This is the quick version. I'm not going to go deep into anything, so hold on to your seats and press pause if you, and rewind if you need to, but just to show you how you can do it quickly for you experts out there uh, those want a quick version, here it is. So this is assuming that you already have an app maker, an app maker app created as a prototype. I've created this Acme app that um, already passes the AQI. I have tabs in it, has a lot of features. And at this point, you have to set up an account. You could have set up an account earlier in developer accounts here, uh, but in this scenario, we're going to pretend like we haven't done that earlier, and we're just going to do a full setup from the beginning. So you're on publish. Here we go. So, set up an account. You want to open up developer slash iPhone. I'm going to go to your iOS provisioning profile. I'm going to go to your certificates. If you're starting over, it's a good idea to uh, remove your certificates. I'm going to distribution. I'm going to revoke it and start over. Request a certificate. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to generate this certificate here. I'm going to download it. I'm going to upload what I just downloaded from AppMaker. It downloads. Submit. Perfect. It's pending issuance. Refresh. Remember this is the speed version. I'm not going diving into any of them. I'm going to download it. Go back to App Maker. Choose the file. Just downloaded. And upload it. I'm going to go back to my app gallery. Now that I have a certificate in place, let's see I have more options. I'm going to create a test app. I'm going to go to the app ID creation. So here's the app IDs. Remember, every time you have an application, you need to tell Apple that you created an application what the name is. Put Acme as the name. Description. We're going to generate a new. We're going to use the bundle identifier. This is the unique universal identifier of the application. Press submit. The app ID now is here under Acme. Here, I'm going to press configure for that app. I'm going to enable push notifications so that I can have that enabled. I must do this in our system. I'm going to configure it. Continue, skip that, and go back here. I'm going to skip all this and generate. I'm going to download that. Choose that new certi CSR, Certificate Signing Request. The request is going to generate an SSL certificate. Press continue. Press download. I have yet another file from Apple. I'm going to upload that certificate identity. Waiting. It's uploaded. Now I'm going to go to my provisional. It's done. I'm going to provision my device. I've already added devices here. You have to go to devices and add a device with your UDID. And after you've done that, which I have three already, I'm going to provision for a distribution to test it on my phone. I'm going to add a new profile. I'm going to do ad hoc, profile name, all this stuff is here. Acme distribution. Select the Acme ID. Select my phone. I'm going to submit it. Oh, ad hoc. Oh, 
already did it. Active. By the way, these are all invalidated because remember I deleted the certificate. Keep that in mind. When you delete a certificate, delete, you invalidate all the provisionals. It doesn't stop working. I'm going to download the Acme distribution. It doesn't stop working, but you can't build future things on it. So I'm going to download the Acme distribution. I'm going to complete it by uploading the final provisional. Press upload. Now it's going to start building. Refresh. Refresh again until it gets here. download the app and then install on the phone and that is how you can get a downloadable app to put on your uh, iTunes pretty quickly thanks